Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 8, from the Passion Translation, and it reads as follows. Sin is a seed that brings a harvest. You'll reap a heap of trouble with every seed you plant, for your investment in sin pays a full return, the full punishment you deserve. Family isn't that portion of scripture so true, and it's a pretty harsh portion of scripture, but it doesn't change the fact that it is true. The universal principle of seed, time, and harvest applies to all people at all times everywhere, the saved and the unsaved alike. We will reap what we have sown. If you sow good seeds through good works, good deeds, acts of love, acts of kindness, being an ambassador of Christ, applying faith and all these kinds of things, we will reap a harvest of goodness in our lives. But if we sow seeds of sin, seeds of destruction, bad words, gossip, lies and all these kinds of things, we will reap a bad harvest in our lives. It's a principle that applies to everyone everywhere, family. And the beautiful thing is obviously as born again believers, when we sow seeds of sin, when we commit sins, when we sin, slip up, make mistakes and all these kinds of things, we have God's grace and Jesus's forgiveness there to forgive us and return us to right standing with the Lord. And that's important for where we're going to spend eternal life because if we don't have Jesus in our life and we die in that state of sin and that state of separation from God, we won't be going to heaven one day. We'll be going to a much less desirable place. But the fact of the matter is, family, even though God offers forgiveness for our sins and even though we are restored to right standing through everything that Jesus did when we sin when we slip up and when we make a mistake we have nonetheless sown a seed of sin we've sown a seed of destruction or lies or whatever it may be and even though God forgives us and we will have a a harvest of eternal life If we've sinned sinned and sown those seeds, there will still be a harvest that we will reap here on earth. And we can pray to God and he can help us and and lighten the load or lighten the impact that the harvest is going to have. But the, the fact of the matter is we've sown a seed and we're going to reap a harvest. If we commit a crime and we get arrested, for it and we go to prison we can say you know lord please forgive me and the lord will forgive you and he'll restore you to right standing but the fact of the matter is you sowed the seed you are now reaping the harvest by spending jail time and just because the lord is forgiving you doesn't mean that you know you're going to miraculously disappear out of jail and appear back in your home or something like that no family that's not how it works you will still reap the harvest of the sin that you've sown here on earth and the same principle goes you know for a, a couple that have Uh, sex outside of marriage and they fall pregnant what has happened they've sown the seed they're reaping the harvest the baby's the baby's there it's going to be born and you can ask God to forgive you of that sin and he will forgive you of that sin but the fact of the matter is you've sown the seed and you are going to reap the harvest you you're going to have the baby you're going to carry the baby to term and and you're now going to have to sit with that baby for the rest of your life and that's the principle that's being spoken about here family God forgives us of us and we must never forget that we must never think that just because we've sinned that God now hates us and he wants to smite us and all these kinds of things God loves us family and he forgives us of our sins but the fact is when we've sown that seed of sin we will reap a harvest from it here on earth and as I said earlier we can always pray that the Lord will soften the harvest that he'll soften the load that it won't have as negative effect as it could have and the Lord will help us where we can but sometimes you know, when you've sown that seed and you've been arrested for a crime or you, you're pregnant with a baby, the Lord's not just going to be able to take it away. It's out of his control. The The gears are already in motion and stuff like that. But we must, when we find ourselves in those difficult times, when we're reaping a harvest of the sins that we've committed, we need to find comfort in the Lord and seek the Lord for help and know that he still loves us, that he still forgives us, even though the world may be against us, even though we may be in prison or whatever it may be, we must know that the Lord still loves us and that his Holy Spirit is still there to comfort us and help us through those challenging times. The Lord might not take the storm away because of the seeds that you've sown, but he's there with us in the boat and it's far better to go through the storm with Jesus in our boat than it is alone, family. So I want to encourage you, If you've sinned, if you've slipped up and made a mistake, don't allow it to separate you from the Lord. Don't run away from God, but rather run to God and find forgiveness in Him and find comfort in Him. And if you are busy reaping a harvest of the seeds of sin that you've sown in the past, 
Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to comfort you in these difficult times and ask the Lord to do what he can to soften the blow, to soften the load. But unfortunately, we have sown those seeds of sin and the, the harvest is inevitable at the end of the day, family. But the Lord can help us and comfort us and lead us and guide us through those difficult things if we hand it over to him and trust him with it, family. So I want to encourage you to do just that. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word. Lord, and I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that when we sin and make mistakes, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will help us to run back to you as quickly as we can, Lord, to return to you, to, re- to ask you to forgive us, Lord, so that we can be restored to right standing with you. And we thank you, Lord, that we know that when we ask you, forgive us of our sins, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for the seeds of sin that we've sown, Lord, Whatever it may be, Lord, in the past, I pray, Lord, that you will help ease the blow for us, Lord, that you will help comfort us and be with us during those difficult times when we're reaping the harvest of the, the sin that we've sown, Lord, that you will help guide us through the storms, Lord, that come as a result of our sins, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we put our trust in you, Lord, you do a great and mighty work in us, through us, and for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says given. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.